can you solve this algebra challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the value of x. Given this equation, x plus square root of x multiplied by x plus 1 plus square root of x multiplied by the quantity x plus 2 plus square root of the quantity x plus 1 times the quantity x plus 2 equals 2. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so, the question is to solve for the real value of x that satisfies this equation, x plus square root of x times the quantity x plus 1, plus square root of x times the quantity x plus 2, plus square root of the quantity x plus 1 times the quantity x plus 2 equals 2. Who? So how do we answer this kind of question? Now, to solve this, what we're going to do is to use some identities. Now, take note, when we have square root of a times b, this can be written as square root of a multiplied by the square root of b. So, let's apply this. Take note that we have here square root of x plus 1 multiplied by the quantity x plus 2. So, this can be written as square root of x plus 1 multiplied by the square root of x plus 2. Alright, now how about this term? We have square root of x multiplied by the quantity x plus 2. So this can be written as square root of x times square root of x plus 2. Now we will do the same thing to this term. So this can be written as square root of x times square root of x plus 1. And how about x? So x, this can be written as square root of x raised to the power of 2. All right. Now, what we're going to do here is to focus on these two terms. Take note that square root of x raised to the power of 2 can be written as square root of x multiplied by the square root of x. Now, take note that we have a common term of square root of x. So, we can factor out square root of x. If we do that, we get square root of x multiplied by, we have square root of x in this term, and on this term, we have square root of x plus 1. So if you factor out square root of x, we have square root of x multiplied by square root of x plus square root of x plus 1. Now how about on these two terms? What is common term? So the common factor must be equal to square root of x plus 2. So we can factor out square root of x plus 2 if we do that. We get square root of x plus 2 multiplied by the quantity square square root of x plus square root of x plus 1. Alright, so let's replace this. Now, using the whole term, what is the common factor? So the common factor is um, obvious. We have square root of x plus square root of x plus 1. So we can factor out this common factor. And if we do that, we get something like this, our common factor. We have square root of x plus square root of x plus 1. And we have here multiply by, we have square root of x plus square root of x plus 2. So this is the result. So we have square root of x plus square root of x plus 1 multiplied by square root of x plus square root of x plus 2 equals 2. Now let's focus on this equation. Now, to solve for the value of x, what we're going to do is to divide both sides by this term, square root of x plus square root of x plus 2. Now, why is this term? We will see later on. Now, but before that, let's switch the position of square root of x plus 2 and square root of x, like this. Next, what we're going to do is to rationalize the denominator. So, to do that, let's multiply this term by its conjugate, which is square root of x plus 2 minus square root of x. So we have square root of x plus 2 minus square root of x on the numerator and also on the denominator. The reason is this number right here is just 1. Now let's multiply. So we have 2 times the quantity square root of x plus 2 minus square root of x over square root of x plus 2 plus square root of x. 
multiply by its conjugate square root of x plus 2 minus square root of x. Now we will use this identity. If we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b, this can be written as a squared minus b squared. So our denominator can be written as square root of x plus 2 raised to the power of 2 minus square root of x raised to the power of 2. And now let's simplify more. Square root of x plus 2 raised to the power of 2, this can be written as x plus 2. And the square root of x raised to the power of 2, this is just x. Now, x minus x, this is just 0. And 2 divided by 2, this is just 1. Therefore, our equation now becomes square root of x plus square root of x plus 1 equals square root of x plus 2 minus square root of x. On this form, we can now solve for the value of x. Now, to solve for the value of x, let's add square root of x on both sides. Now, if we do that, we get something like 2 times square root of x plus square root of x plus 1 equals square root of x plus 2. Now, let's solve for the value of x. First, let's subtract square root of x plus 1 on both sides. So, this will give us 2 times square root of x equals square root of x plus 2 minus square root of x plus 1. Now, to eliminate some radical sign, let's square on both sides. So, the left-hand side, 2 times square root of x raised to the power of 2, this is just 4 times x. Now, on the right-hand side, we will use this identity to make it faster. We have if we have a minus b raised to the power of 2, so a here is square root of x plus 2, and b here is square root of x plus 1. Now, this can be written as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So, if we expand this, we have something like x plus 1 or square root of x plus 1 raised to the power of 2 minus 2 times the quantity x plus 1 times x plus 2 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 2. Now, let's simplify more because if we add x to x, we have 2x. And 1, positive 1 to positive 2, we have positive 3. And if we subtract 2x on both sides, we have 2x on the left-hand side. And then let's subtract 3 on both sides. Now, let's simplify the expression inside the radical sign. If we multiply x plus 1 to x plus 2, this will give us a value of x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now, for the last time, to get rid of the square root symbol, let's square on both sides. Now, on the left-hand side of our equation, we will use again this identity to make this calculation more faster. So, this will give us a value of 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. On the right-hand side, negative 2 times square root of x squared plus 3x plus 2 raised to the power of 2, this will give us 4 multiplied by x squared plus 3x plus 2. Next, let's distribute this 4 to x squared to 3x and to 2. This will give us 4x squared plus 12x plus 8. Now, we're almost done. Let's subtract 4x squared on both sides. And take note that all of this 4x squared are gone. This is just 0. Next, how about 12x? So let's add 12x on both sides. If we do that, we get something like 9 equals 24x plus 8. And then let's subtract 8 on both sides. So we have 1 on the left equals 24x. Finally, to solve for the value of x, divide both sides by 24. And that is the only real value of x. Therefore, our answer to this question, what is the real value of x that satisfies this equation? And our answer must be, the only answer must be equal to 1 over 24. And as always, we are done.